Hey guys, this is a lesson video for one of Stemage's songs, uh, Grant Henry, um, the guy that helped me the most on my newest EP. Um, it's a lesson for one of his songs that was requested by uh, a guy named Dylan that follows me. And um, <clears throat> so this song, I've, I've done a cover of it before. It was a long time ago. A um, couple years anyway, and it's very fun, very riffy. Um, a lot of a lot of good riffs in this song. Um, I'm in drop C tuning, so it's a full step down and then another step down on the low string. So the lowest string sounds like this. <laughs> way to do this um, well starts off a lot of it's on the first two strings the, the lowest two and um, just a lot of different uh, a lot of different riffs using the same couple notes so it can get a little confusing sometimes um, but anyway I'll just kind of jump into it I guess starts like this first part um, you're using the 9 and the 10 on those first two strings and some open notes so so that is just 9 10 on that lowest string then 9 10 on the next string and then 9 again so it's still like a hammer-on pull-off and then back to the 10 on the lowest string and then open so it's pretty simple that second part goes which is 9 10 then 9 on the next string and then back to the lowest string again so 9 10 9, 10, 9, 10, then that open note again. So all together that uh, goes like this. Wait, no. So you're just kind of sliding up from, you know, like the first position. Then you're doing a 15, 15, 17, and then a 13, 13, 15, and then open. So then it goes to the next part. And then it does kind of a variation of that other part. It doesn't slide up. It just uh, does. So instead of. It does a palm mute on the fifth fret of the lowest string. So altogether that intro slowed down a bit. It sounds like this. And then it goes to which uh, he also does later in the song. That's actually like the last riff of the song too, but it, it's uh, zero, four, five on that third string down. Uh, then it goes zero, four, five on the next string up. And then zero, four, five again on the lower string. 
and then it does like a zero two four. So. Um, yeah, then it kind of goes into the next riff. So hopefully that was kind of explained well enough, the whole uh, intro. It goes to, I guess you can kind of call it a verse riff. Um, he does it a couple different times, um, and it goes like this. Um, that's the first part. So it's four, five, seven on all descending strings. So the first string's a four, the next string's a five, the next string's a seven. And then it does five, five, five. And then seven five four uh, descending. So seven on the lowest string. Next one's five and four. And then it does a two on that. Uh, the next string. So it goes two zero and zero ascending or descending. So all together. slight variation where it does three five seven and then it doesn't really do those last couple notes it just does it like a big power chord so that next part three five seven five 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 seven five four and then it does like a two Open chord, just three zeros. You can add that two on the fourth string if you want to. Um, after that, let me see. Yeah, so after that goes. Um, It does that first part, which is the four five seven. It does that through, and then it does the three five seven, and then it goes back and does the four five seven one exactly the same, and then it does three five seven with a little bit different rhythm. I think it's pretty sure it's three five seven. I could be wrong. It's definitely three five seven, but I'm not sure if it's if the next one's five five seven or five five five. I I don't remember. Then you're doing um, sliding up to the eight, and then an eight on the next string. So you're doing eight eight, and then a seven on that third string, uh, hammer on to the eight, and then sliding up to ten ten. 10, 12, I think. Yeah. And then starts the intro again. So that whole part slow down goes like this. So that 
that's a quick little uh, hammer on pull off. So it's like uh, 9, 10, 9, and then a, on the second string. And then it does a 10 on the lowest string. And then you do that a couple times, then it slides up to the 12. So. back to this riff I've tried to figure out and I can't quite get it but it's something like Something like that. So I'm just going to say it's 8, 11 on the third string. I, I play it 8, 11, 8, then 11 on the next string up, and then 8, 7, so. And then I just do a, a 7, 7, 7 power chord. It's kind of tricky. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard to really nail. That That's like the one part of the song I was always kind of iffy on. I don't even think I did it nearly right on the first cover that I did. I don't know if that's about as close as I can get it. Um, he may, he might watch the video, I don't know, and he might have a suggestion of how to actually do it. Um, so, who knows. Um, then it goes to... section goes uh, you're doing a uh, seven 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 or yeah seven 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 um, but you're doing emphasis on the nine on the uh, fourth string and then you're adding an eight on the fifth string so So slowly the whole thing goes like this. So first part goes and then you add that eight and then you add with your pinky finger, um, what is that, a 10 on the lowest string. So you're doing seven, 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 nine, eight, ten. And then on the very last part, you're doing a slide from that 10 on the highest string down to a 9. So it goes. So that's that little part. And then it transitions into the next part, which goes. pretty simple it's um, the same sort of structure where it's seven 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 and then nine it's just all octaves it's just two two sets of octaves um, and then you're you're basically you're doing that first chord and then you're not really hitting that full chord you're just doing the nine and you're sliding down um, to the seven you're just kind of muting the rest of the strings. And then you're doing the same thing with 5, 5, 5, and 7, going from the 7 to the 6. And then you're doing 4, 4, 4 uh, with that 6 sliding down to the 2. And then from that, you're doing... 
two two two, and then two two four sliding up to three three five, back to two two four, and then so sound like this. You do the whole thing again. You do that part, so it's seven, 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 nine, slide into the seven on that fourth string. Then five, 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 seven to the six. Four, 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 six, slide into the four. And once you get to that, you're um, kind of transitioning into the next part, which goes like this. That last stretch is pretty tough. Um, but once you go down to, once you slide from that six uh, to the four on that part, right before it. Um, then you're doing three, three, three um, with that four and you're doing um, some like quick bends. Or, um, so if you watch his video, you can kind of see it uh, really good too. So it's just looking like this. So you can kind of see that I'm bending that string. But you're still playing that full chord. Um, so you're doing that that uh, bend. Uh, and that's on that fourth string. And then uh, you're pulling off and you're going to a seven on the next string up. So it's three, three, seven. So you're doing basically the chords are three, 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 four. And then three, three, seven. And you're starting it over. But then you're doing a seven on that fourth string and then the third string. So you're just moving, uh, you're keeping three, three, three on up here, but then you're moving. Going from that fourth string to the third string with that seven. Um, and you do it one more time. And then while keeping the threes uh, on there, you're doing like a seven, eight, seven, eight, like slide, which is pretty difficult. Um, and then it goes into the last real riff of the song and it's kind of a variation on the intro it just goes said it's very similar to the intro so you play that four times and then it goes right into the actual intro riff again um, which has a very different rhythm so it's easy to kind of mess that up so it goes like this Right into 
I forget it already. Yeah. So it's just a different rhythm. So it's. And then it just goes down to the zero, four, five. That's the whole thing. Try and play the whole thing um, from start to finish without the backing track or anything. See if I can remember it. watching thanks for checking it out um and i really appreciate your support with my ep dylan um so i hope this helped if you got any questions on it definitely just send me a question you know or send me a message or whatever um i'll do what i can but i think i think i explained it pretty well i mean you should be able to get it but you never know sometimes i ramble a lot and i forget stuff so Anyway, thanks again, and everybody else, thanks for watching too. It's a great song. Definitely check out his stuff. Absolutely. See ya.